Welcome to citations, which are a critical part of your witness statement. So we're talking about parentheticals and works cited pages and easy bib, oh my. First, what do you need to cite? Well, first, any ideas that are not yours, that didn't come out of your head, need a citation. In addition, any words that are not yours need to be set off in quotation marks and they need to have a citation. So anything that didn't come from your head, somehow you have to tell us where it did come from. This is where the works cited page is. It comes at the end of your paper, it lists all of the sources in alphabetical order. It used to be complicated to put together, but now it's really easy. You create it using um, a website called easybib.com, and then you copy and paste each of the citations onto your document. You'll notice in this one about Malala Yousafzai um, that they're in alphabetical order, and they come at the end of her witness statement. Let's watch this demo about how to do that. Um, I'm going to start by finding my sources for Stalin, who is my guy. I'm going to look for Stalin biography. Um, and so one source that I want to use is this history.com source. Quality source, well researched. If I look at the bottom, this is published by A&E Networks, which is a major television network that's um, not biased and does good programming. So I'm going to trust that as a source that does its research. Um, so I'm going to use this as a site. Um, and so to cite this source, I've got a few options. This one is very kind to me. Again, it's a quality source. It gives me a table of contents, it lets me print, and it lets me cite. If I click this, it tells me a lot of things that I need to know about the site. But there's a tool that does all of this work for you. So what we're gonna do right now is to copy the um, URL of the website, and we're going to go to this amazing tool called easybib.com. When you get there, EasyBib asks you, what do you want to cite? Are you citing a website, a book, a video or film, a journal, etc.? This is clearly a website, so all I have to do now is paste in the address of my website and say cite it. It's going to find all the information it can and then ask me for anything that it can't find. So here it says, is this is the, the page that you want to cite? And it is, so I'm going to say cite this. It found a lot of that information that I already saw on history.com on the site page. It found a lot of that information by analyzing the site itself. So now I'm going to say continue to the final step. And it's highlighting for me a few things it couldn't find and it wants me to know it wants me to try to find that. So it's asking for the name of the author. And if I look back here, sometimes the author's name is at the top, sometimes the author's name is at the bottom. Um, and I don't see anything here. I'm going to scroll to the bottom and see if there's a byline at the bottom. Nothing down here. Here's a fact check. Feels very reliable, but no author's name. So if you don't have an author's name, you can leave it blank. Recall that this site at the top, it actually gave the author's name as history.com staff, which means it's kind of an unknown author. So here I'm going to leave it blank. I do have history.com staff. It also wants to know what date this article was published. Um, it knows that it was in 2009, so I'm going to go back and look and see if I can find out what date it was published. And again, that's usually at the top or the bottom. I don't see anything at the top. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom. I don't see anything at the end of this article that says what uh, date it was published. So again, if I don't know, I have to leave it blank. When I've gotten all the information I can find, then I say create citation and EasyBib makes it for me. I'm going to copy this, and this goes into my Works Cited page in alphabetical order. Let's try another search. OK, so I'm going to look for another source that I like. Um, lots look decent. Um, I tend to really like the BBC. They do a good job. So I'm going to go look at the BBC. Again, scrolling through. I know the BBC is a major newspaper. Looks well researched. Um, really well put together timeline information. Oh man, an amazing quote if I were researching Stalin. Okay, it looks pretty good to me. I'm going to use this as a quality source. So I'm going to copy this, go back to EasyBib. Again, this is a website, so I'm pasting it in. Say cite it. Again, EasyBib will try to find all the information it can. So say cite this. And here's the information it could find. It wants help finding a couple other things. So let's go forward. So it wants to know what is the title. It says this title is long, so I could probably take off I Wonder. Um, here's the rest of the title. I'm looking at it. I could see it's a little long, but it doesn't feel like there's any extra words or anything I could take off. It's asking for the author's name again. So as the other one, I'm going to look at the top. I don't see any author up here. I'm going to look at the bottom. 
I don't see it's a different article. This is the end of the Stalin article. This is a specific clip. I don't see a specific author for this one either. So no author. Website title looks good. Publisher looks good. URL looks good. Again, it wants the date and the year. I didn't see anything about dates on here about when this was published. Only the year is on the timeline. So I guess I can't do that one either. So I have to leave that blank. So I've done my best to find all the information I can. I'm saying create citation. And I'm going to copy and paste this into my Works Cited page. This will come after the other one because this starts with a J. The other one started with an H, and they do go in alphabetical order. And that is the process through which you find a Works Cited. Let's go find one more source um, that's a little bit different and see what that one looks like. So here's The Atlantic. It's a major national magazine, um, tends to be well researched, definitely leans toward the left, a little bit liberal, so something to be aware of, um, but otherwise a relatively quality source. Um, so I'm scrolling through, looks pretty good, interesting information um, about Stalin. So I'm going to use this as a source. So again, we copy the address, we go to EasyBib. This is a website, we're pasting it in, say cite it. And it's found some information, let's say cite this. Okay, I found a lot of information for me already. Let's see what I still need to find. So it found the author's name, so this one has an author's name, Ann Applebaum, The Atlantic Looks Right. That is the publisher of that website. If I couldn't find it, I could find that by scrolling all the way down to the bottom. I'm going to trust that this is the Atlantic Media Company and move forward. And then it gives me the date that it was published, and there's no other information I need, so I'm going to go ahead and create that citation. And then I'm going to copy and paste this one into my Works Cited page. Notice this one looks different because I actually have an author's name, and so it's beginning with the author's last name, comma, her first name, and then the title. And that's how you build your Works Cited page. Good luck. Now that you've seen the demo and how to put together your works, cited uh, your works Cited section, you can use those full citations to create your parenthetical. So if you look at the full citation, which comes at the end of the paper in the Works Cited page, they, um, if you look at the full citation, which comes at the end of your paper in the Works Cited page, the parenthetical just comes from whatever is at the beginning of the full citation. So in the first one, the beginning is history.com staff. And that's what goes in your parenthetical. For the next one, what do you think the parenthetical would be? If you said Hingley, you're correct. Look at the next one. We don't have an author's name in the next one, but we still use whatever is at the beginning of the citation. So it should be this, Joseph Stalin, national hero or cold-blooded murderer. Last one, and if you said Simkin, you're right. Okay, so the parenthetical citation that shows up right after the evidence as part of your CECA should just come from the very beginning of the full citation. And it's either going to be the author's name, last name, or the title of the article or book if you don't have an author name. And that parenthetical citation is the other piece of your citation. So now you know. Make sure that in your witness statement you have cited all the sources you use to gather your information at the end of your document in a works cited section. Also, make sure that every fact or quote you researched is followed by a parenthetical citation in the body paragraphs that matches an entry in your Works Cited section. And make sure that any direct quotes, anything that you didn't write in your own words, are set off in quotation marks so that you are not plagiarizing. Take a minute and go get these ready to go in your statement. Remember that on your final draft, if you have a missing Works Cited or if you are missing citations, you will be impeached for lack of credibility during the trial. Good luck!